What in the world is data engineering? Well, let's first start with where data engineering came from in the first place. The term data engineering started to come up in the tech circles around 2011. But before that, in the early 2000s, in the corporate world, before the term data engineer even ever existed, we would see a clear divide between the IT department and everyone else. These people, also known as database administrators, DBAs, were the people that would work on database-related things. But during the rise of the internet, new apps and new data started to come out. With all this new data coming in, a better solution would be to focus on things that could better store our data, also known as what we call data warehouses today. Now, why is this so important? Because the companies that knew how to use and take advantage of the data are the very companies that would later have the competitive advantage. With this new demand for custom data, normal IT employees were no longer able to keep up. This is what eventually led to the creation of ETL and of the data engineer. So then, what is data engineering? Data engineering is a process of moving data from one place to another. Of course, there's so much more to that, but we'll get to that later. By the way, if you are looking for a tool to get all your ELT data pipelines going in minutes, check out Airbyte, which we'll leave in the link in the description below. What is moving of this data? Let's change things around a little bit, and let's say we're moving data from a source to a destination. A data engineer's job is to move complex large amounts of data from a source to a destination, plus so much more. But we'll get to that part again in a second. Now let's use some layman terms to help you better understand what I am talking about. Let's use a camera as an example. Let's assume you go on a trip and use your camera to capture memories with pictures. What do you plan to do with all of those photos? Do you just snap photos and never look at them again? Of course not. At any rate, you'll need to move the data on your memory card into a computer sooner or later. We'd want to save them on our computer so that we may put them online for everyone else to see. So then how do we go about doing that? Do the images automatically transfer by themselves? No. Someone will need to extract the data from the memory card that contains the data you require and insert that data into a computer, the destination, which will then load that very same data into a location of your choice within your laptop. Even more, do you know that those photographs in your memory card are simply nothing but data? Rather than this, the memories that you capture within your photos actually look like this. You would not be able to even understand what you're looking at unless you had the correct software to view that data. The only way to see what's in those photos is by using a computer that can read and convert that data into a pixelized image for you to examine on your screen. This is exactly what data engineers do. But instead of sending images from a camera to your computer, they move hundreds of gigabytes of data from numerous sources to something like a data warehouse or a data lake to store that information for you to examine later. But guess what? Data engineering is even more difficult than that. Again, the job of a data engineer is to move data from a source to a destination. Just like how software needs to transform data from your memory card into images in order to help you see what your picture looks like, a data engineer must be able to transform your data, clean that data, and make it simpler for someone like a data analyst to work with and then later present to the public. Data engineering, without a doubt, is still even more difficult than this. Let's pretend this data engineer needs to move hundreds of gigabytes of data, maybe terabytes, but not just from one source, but from 10 different sources and in 10 different formats. What if you had to move data in JSON, XML, or other formats, then push all of it into a warehouse in a way that's easy to comprehend? First of all, what is a data warehouse? There's so much we can talk about when it comes to a data warehouse, which we will further discuss in another video. But in simple terms, a data warehouse is a place where companies can securely store their valuable data. A data warehouse integrates data from various sources into one comprehensive database. For example, a data warehouse might combine customer information from a mailing list, GitHub, TikTok, Google Analytics, and you name it all in one place. Now, let's answer the question. Why is data engineering so important? They are absolutely essential because of the people that need to use this very data. How can data analysts share the findings if the information they require is stored in 10 different locations and multiple different formats? Wouldn't it be easier if all of the data that they need is moved and easy to read in one location? This is what data engineers do. Unless a data engineer moves and transform that data, a data analyst would be unable to analyze that data and later communicate what they found to their upper management, product managers, marketing, community team, and pretty much anyone that needs that data to make and drive decisions, which in the end could have significant influence on a company's success or failure. 
A data engineer is kind of important, huh? Now imagine what would happen if a data analyst was working with bad data. What terrible path will incorrect data lead a company to? The success of a company is based on good data. Data rules the world. And unless someone technical can move that data to any location that you need, transform it and make it easier for people to work with, how much more difficult would it be for a business to survive? The process of moving data is vital to every company because data is the life and blood of every company. Now let's get a little bit more deep into this. What is the process of moving data from A to B even called? It is referred to as ELT. The first step is when you extract, collect your data. The second step is load. When you load that data into your destination, a database, a warehouse, a data lake, you name it. And then the third step, transform that data, moving errors, change formats, and validate that the data is correct. This is all done through the process of ETL and ELT. This is the work that a data engineer does, and of course, so much more. As data engineering becomes increasingly popular, the demand for people with these skills will continue to grow. If you want to be part of this exciting field, start learning now. There are plenty of resources available online that can help you get started. With hard work and a little luck, you could soon be on your way to an amazing career in data engineering. If there's anything that I miss or anything you want to add, please add it in the comment section below, and I'll see y'all in the next video.